DeepMind made a breakthrough in computer science. They've sped up two the most essential algorithms by 70 and 30 percent respectively. And that's a big deal, because it will improve the performance of all computing devices around us. Even Google search will run faster. Let me explain. This is a new paper from DeepMind, published in Nature. Here, they introduce the AlphaDev agent, which is an artificial intelligence system which uses, again, reinforcement learning to discover better algorithms. And here we are talking about two of the most fundamental algorithms in computing, sorting and hashing. And guess what? Those haven't advanced in decades. They are already highly optimized, which made further improvements somewhere in between very challenging and impossible. Nevertheless, according to the paper, AlphaDev AI managed to find a better algorithm for sorting. You know, sorting is used to organize any list of items in a particular order. For example, in a usual library, sorting of the books is happening just by hands. But with the rise of computers in the 50s, the very first computer algorithms for sorting were developed. I studied these algorithms during my first computer science degree, and it's a must because they are so fundamental. For sure you are using it every single day without even realizing it. Sorting is used by Google to decide how to rank search results for you. Or when you're watching a sport event, sports scores are quickly sorted in the real time by a sorting algorithm. This means by speeding up the sorting algorithm, we are speeding up everything. And here, according to the paper, AI managed to go beyond the current state of the art. They mention in the paper that they managed to speed it up up to 70% for sequences of a length of 5 and roughly 1.7% for sequences exceeding 250,000 elements. And the best part about it, these functions are being called freelance times a day, which means we will be able to run applications faster and using less computing resources. And this is a huge and also very important milestone for reinforcement learning because it proves that it's useful for code optimization. Just imagine how much code is out there which it can further review and optimize. Now let's see how it was achieved. Let's dive deeper in the paper. As a basis, DeepMind took the AlphaZero model, the famous model which learned how to play chess and Go games. They extended it and made it to play the assembly game. What is assembly game? It's a single player game which uses Monte Carlo 3 search for planning. I explained how it works in one of my previous videos. You know, usually we write code at high level languages like C++ or C Sharp. Then it's translated to low level assembly instructions and the assembler translated into machine code, zeros and ones. When I was a computer science student, I loved assembly because you learn, by learning it, you learn to think like a computer. You basically get a deeper understanding of how it works. So to get to the real improvement in efficiency, DeepMind had to go to this very basic level, to this low level instructions and optimize there. At each turn, the agent checks the algorithm it has already generated and the information contained in the CPU. In the example here, it says a sequence of numbers and the goal is to sort it. Then the agent decides which instruction to add to the algorithm. In this case, it is the move instruction to get the data from the memory and move it to the register. After each move, the algorithm is tested. They generate an output and compare it to the correct output. You see here, at the input we have 3, 1, 2, and the agent decides to move 1 to the first position. The generated output doesn't match the desired output, so the algorithm is not correct. Then, based on the result, the agent is rewarded, and the reward depends on the correctness of the result and how fast it was generated. Winning the game means finding the most efficient and short algorithm for sorting numbers. 
The main challenge of the assembly game is a huge action space, a huge number of possible moves, which actually similar to the complexity of the game of Go. But not only that, also the reward function is very, very complex, because in this game, a single wrong move can invalidate the entire algorithm. It's quite amazing that after playing this game for a while, the agent was able to find algorithms with few instructions than the human benchmarks for sort 3 and sort 5 algorithms, and actually matched the state-of-the-art performance for sort 4. If we consider how often these short sorting algorithms are called and how often they are being called as a part of a larger function, it's a huge improvement. DeepMind has already open sourced the new algorithms as a part of C++ library, which means it's already being used all over the world. I think it's mind-blowing that this is the first change in the sorting library for over a decade. And this was done by artificial intelligence. Now, AlphaDAV is busy with C++ algorithms. It's looking for some possible optimizations and shortcuts there. Eventually, DeepMind wants to create AI tools which can optimize the entire computing stack, starting from the software to the firmware to the hardware itself. For example, the scheduling of computing resources could be further optimized. Video compression could be optimized. And eventually, the hardware on which the whole system runs can be further optimized. I have a whole video on this, I will link it below. What's really interesting, while working on sorting, AlphaDev discovered a shortcut. You see, in the original assembly code for sorting, there is an extra move operation and another conditional move operation. So if the condition is satisfied, the value will be moved, otherwise it's skipped. AlphaDev found a way to remove this move instruction completely. In the paper, they call it the AlphaDev swap and copy move, which helps to save a single instruction each time the algorithm is applied. After this huge success with sorting, they moved on and they tested the AlphaDev on the hashing. Hashing algorithm is again one of the most fundamental algorithms in computer science. It's used everywhere to retrieve and compress the data. Let's say we're looking for Anastasia Tech in a database. So the hashing algorithm will hash it and transform it into a unique uh, string of characters. And then it will use this hash to find the corresponding uh, data in the database quickly. The trick is that with hashing, the searching is quicker than just searching the whole database for this particular keyword. And using hashing is also more secure. DeepMind's AlphaDev agent discovered a 30% faster algorithm for hashing. And again, now it's open sourced and it's been used trillion times a day. And the best part about it is that AlphaDev is not restricted to sorting and hashing only. It can be used everywhere in the whole computer science field to find new algorithms. And this is certainly exciting. That's why I'm a huge fan of DeepMind, because I see their impact on science, like with the controlling the plasma for the nuclear fusion, or with Alpha Fold, or with Alpha Tensor, and now with Alpha Dev. And DeepMind, as you know, is owned by Alphabet, which is just like Nvidia and Microsoft are heavily invested in AI. They will be for sure growing in tandem with this new technology. These companies are forming the core of S&P 500, which is very popular right now for investment. However, according to RAE Intel, almost 90% of financial advisors are using alternative investments. I'm personally a huge fan of diversification, and now there is one specific alternative, fine art. This video is sponsored by Masterworks, art investing platform. They reportedly sold over $45 million worth of artwork, delivering the net profits to their investors. Masterworks offers art from legends like Picasso and Banksy, and you don't need millions to invest. And then they resell the works with any potential profits after fees distributed. According to Masterworks, to date, every one of Masterworks sales delivered positive return to investors. And paintings on Masterworks site can sell out in hours. You can get their priority access with the link below. Thank you Masterworks for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Ciao!